I believe that a smile doesn't only change someone's day, but it also has the power to change someone's life. A smile is such a simple little thing, but it can make such a big impact on someone's life. We hear about how just one smile can keep someone from jumping off the edge, but we don't really take it seriously until we experience it ourselves. In my family, we don't really talk about our feelings. I think it maybe has to do with our culture. We are told to keep quiet about our feelings. Saying them out loud is like admitting your weaknesses to the world. They didn't understand when I would try talking to them about what was going on with me, what I was thinking and feeling. Maybe they didn't want to understand. Their answer always was that I was young, that I didn't know better, that it would pass. Maybe it was then when it started, or maybe it was before. Maybe it was the bullying, or the fact that high school wasn't what I expected it to be, or the insecurities about my body, feeling that I wasn't good enough, that I didn't matter. After a while, I just stopped. I didn't try to explain it anymore. I kept quiet, but you can only do this for so long before you explode. Maybe it was just one thing. Maybe it was all of them at once that led me to self-harm. Even to this day, I don't really know. All I know is that when everything, even life, felt pointless, it made me feel better, like I was still in control. But you can never keep a secret for a long time. Someone always finds out. My sister did. At that point, I realized I was lying to myself. I wasn't in control. I was having those thoughts and I felt completely lost. I was scared. I expected my sister to be mad at me, but she just hugged me and cried. She told me to look for the good in life, not the bad, to always try and find a reason to smile. Funny how when you actually look hard for something, you find it. When I would walk down the halls, there was always someone who smiled at me. The simple act of a smile helped me find reasons to smile back. Admitting this to everyone's not easy. Everyone thinks you're a certain way. They label you even before you finish entering the room. But like Miss Rainey said, when you talk about things like this, it shows that you came out strong, that you're okay, and you can help others through it. Even to this day, my parents don't know, and I don't plan on telling them. There's no need to, because that's not me anymore. I changed. I surround myself with people that love me, that make me smile. Yes, I still sometimes feel like the world is crashing down on me, but every time I walk into a room, there's always a teacher, a kid, someone who smiles and it reminds me that I have so much to be thankful for. The reason why I'm always laughing or smiling now is because I believe a smile is contagious. Once you smile, it makes everyone else smile. This, I believe, 